The first time I closed one of my big clients, I actually got it from cold emailing them, funny enough. So I had a little story. I would say I'm relatively frugal. I'm very calculated. I'm very conservative with money, so I don't splurge like crazy. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I wouldn't lose it. I'd probably be very wealthy because of the way I handle money. I was calculating my runway, which for anyone that doesn't understand, it means how much money you have left in the bank before you essentially close up shop or have to find out, get investors, whatever it is. My runway was my savings for my business. And then I have my personal personal savings for my family. And I looked at it and I was like, wow, I have a month or two left of runway before I have to dip into my personal savings. I am a very strong believer in don't dip into your savings unless it's like there is no other way, but there is always a way. I don't want to dip into my savings. I don't want to work full time for anybody. So I have two choices, dip into my savings or get a full time job before I close up my business or put my business on the side. So I decided I have one month to land three clients. <laughs> when I'm talking about clients, I'm talking about consulting, coaching clients. It's not cheap, it's relatively, it's like a mid -month market enterprise amount of dollars for me to close. So what I did was I said, okay, what's the lowest hanging fruit? What can I speak to blindly? And if I say that I'm from this industry, the prospect will be like, wow, more is legit. And so I picked industries that I've worked in in the past where I was a VP of sales that was very successful and where the companies are well known in that space. I looked up founders and CEOs of uh, similar companies. I drafted out an outbound email and I specifically mentioned in that email that I was the former were VP of sales of XYZ company. I knew exactly what that CEO was thinking because I worked in that industry so I can speak to my buyer persona really well. And so I sent those emails. It only took two cold emails to land a prospect, my first big client on a discovery call, which became that went on to a second call, two more calls and we closed them in one month. And that first email was that first original email. The second email was just a bump to get their attention. Got them on a discovery call. We did three calls, closed them on that one month and they became a client of mine.